Today, the Canard Delta Wing is a mainstay in fighter design, with many current aircraft utilising this layout. The popularity is due, very broadly speaking, to the Delta providing low drag at high speeds, while the Canards mean not sacrificing the agility of the aircraft in air combat manoeuvres. In fact, it isn't too unfair to say that the Canard Delta is one of the major identifying points of many of the 4.5 generation of fighters that equip a lot of high-end air forces today. What is surprising is that the basic idea has been around for quite a while. And one French designer was serious about not just flying Canard aircraft, he was actively planning fighters with the configuration all the way back in 1938. Allow me to present the Payan PA-22-122 aircraft. In 1935, Roland Payan began development of a rather extreme tandem wing platform that he called the Flechere, a sort of corruption on the French word for arrow, though perhaps avion en papier would be a better description, though admittedly not so catchy. The extremely swept rear wing had an angle of 67 degrees, while the cockpit was fed into the tail. The forward wing, though of a more conventional appearance, was extremely small, and the wingspan was only 15 feet 9 inches, or 4.8 metres. Payan apparently initially hoped that his aircraft would be able to use an early ramjet for propulsion. But when this never materialised, he redesigned the aircraft to use a piston engine. The tiny test plane, designated the PA-22-2, had a Renier six-cylinder engine that produced 180 horsepower. Completed in 1939, the aircraft was undergoing wind tunnel testing when the Germans invaded France in 1940. Interested by the unusual design, they continued the testing and then moved the aircraft to the main French development centre near Paris. They painted the aircraft in German colours, and the PA-22 made its first test flight on October 18th, 1942. A short test series was run, and the PA-22 demonstrated a top speed of 224 miles per hour. Still interested in the concept, the Germans made plans to move the aircraft to their main testing facilities, at Rechlin. Payan managed to dissuade them, arguing that he had some alterations that he wished to make to the PA-22 to make it better, a logical move before any further testing was performed. It was while these modifications were being undertaken that in 1943 an Allied bombing raid hit the Payan factory, destroying the PA-22. And so ended a rather interesting aircraft but I did say that Payern had wanted to build a fighter, didn't I? And if you think the PA-22 was unusual, then this design, the PA-112, really takes the biscuit. In 1938, Payern proposed this design to the French Air Ministry. Armament would have been the standard French setup of a 20mm Hispano 404 motor cannon firing through the propeller hub and two 7.5mm machine guns in the wings. The power plant is somewhat confusing and appears to have been two seven-cylinder radial engines working in tandem to drive a contra-rotating propeller. So keen was Payan on the idea of the PA-112, he even went to the extent of building a full mock-up. It appears that the engines would have been fitted under the propeller shaft. I'll be honest, I might be getting details wrong on this because I'm pretty much going on how the mock-up appears and rather scant sources. Additionally, the PA-112 wouldn't have had a conventional undercarriage, instead using a single central monowheel and outrigger skids for stabilisation. It seems that this combination of just about every revolutionary feature floating around the brain boxes of the 1930s air industry was a bit too much for the French government, and they turned down the PA-112. So it would be another 40 odd years or so before the world saw a canard fighter. But as for Payen, after the war he carried on developing deltas, including early jet powered models. And these, by their influence, would go on to produce the Mirage 3, one of the most famous fighter aircraft ever built. <laughs>